Listen to me. If you have time to complain about it, you have time to pray about it. You do. We ought to stop complaining and start praying. But I think if we started doing that, what we would discover is there's a whole lot of people that are not actually after resolve, they're actually after attention. I just want attention. I just want you to see me. I just want you to know, like, hey, like, hey, I'm, I'm hurting, I'm broken, I'm dysfunctional. But that's not who we are at Voo Church. That's not what you're called to. We're called to go on the path of healing. We're called to go on the path of freedom. I don't wanna live bound. I wanna live totally free in Jesus. Therefore, I bring all of who I am to him. And we gotta be careful because sometimes what we tend to do is we bring God an external issue, but we don't bring the internal emotion. Oh God, I'm kind of dealing with stress. No, no, no. You bring the stress before him. You bring the anxiety before him. This is what it means to pray. Prayer is a two-way street. It's me talking and it's me listening. It's me releasing and it's me receiving. It's me getting loud and it's me getting quiet. It's a two-way street. And according to God's word, on the other side of those prayers, on the other side of those petitions, there is a great promise. What is the great promise? He says that when you present your prayers and your petitions with thanksgiving, that's a big word right there, and God, he says, I will give you peace. My peace transcends all understanding. Another, another way it says is my peace passes all understanding. I like the word transcends though, because it means to go above. And we've been talking about setting our mind on, a, on something higher, something bigger than just this world. Isn't it good news today that God, his peace is higher than your problem. His peace is higher than your pain. His peace is higher than your struggle. In fact, the scripture says, this peace which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds. 